Today, we are going to discuss the self-learning module for Grade 8, Quarter 1, Week 4, Health. This module will help you to understand the basic terms of sexuality and sexuality as an integral part of one's personality. Explain the dimension of human sexuality and know the importance of understanding the dimension of human sexuality. Education for human sexuality will help you make intelligent decisions concerning sexual behaviors and will help you grow into a responsible mature man and woman. Further, you will be able to identify the different factors that influence sexual attitudes and behaviors. Determine its effect on one personal life and develop a sense of responsibility to understand the effects of each factor. Human sexuality refers to person or people's sexual interest and attraction to others. It is a part of your personality, knowledge, beliefs, attitudes, values, and behaviors. The expression of our physical, emotional, and spiritual responses, thoughts, and feelings. While sexuality is more about who we are than what we do. According to Lumen Boundless Psychology, sexuality refers to the capacity of sexual feelings and attraction which is different from biological sex that refers to how one's anatomy, hormones, and genetic are classified, typically as male or female, and from gender identity, which is a person's sense of their own gender or social cultural classification like man, woman, or another gender. Human sexuality is part of your overall personality which affects your total self. Sexuality is an integral part of what we do and who we are. This is the way we express ourselves as sexual beings. It is the total expression of an individual total sexual concepts such as physical self, or the way you look like a man or a woman, mental self, or the way you think as a man or a woman, social self, or the way you interact with others, emotional self, or the way you feel about yourself and others, and ethical self, or the way you value relationships. Sexuality also refers to the attitude and behavior toward yourself and to your perceptions, feelings, and behaviors towards others. Remember, healthy sexuality means taking high sense of responsibility for all of your action since this can affect self-esteem, decision-making, and behavior towards yourself and to other people. Healthy sexuality encompasses the following characteristics. Self-love or your acceptance of yourself. Self-knowledge or your understanding of your feelings and your character. Self-confidence, your awareness of the things that you can do well. Self-respect, your regard for yourself as a worthwhile person. Self-expression, your way of showing your individuality in expressing yourself as a man or a woman. The following factors can influence one's perceptions of the different human sexuality, related issues, and also help an individual in character formation and personal development, which might lead to good family health in the future. Family, peers, culture, religion, and media. Family. The family has a vital role in an individual's life. Family values oftentimes determine the values of the person. It is appropriate for the parent to guide, support, and advise their children whenever sexuality issues arises. Teaching the children positive values, self-esteem, strong self-control, discipline, and being responsible for making decisions are some of the tasks of the parents. Likewise, Children should give respect to the decision of your parents. Peers Like the family, peers or friends can also have a significant impact 
of an individual's view regarding human sexuality. Having friends can make everyone's life colorful, bonding with each other, sharing feelings, interests, thoughts, and experiences as a means of influencing each other. Also, in times of sorrow, sadness, loneliness, depression, and other negative moods, there are friends to talk to and express emotions. Friends also affect how people shape their attitudes and behavior towards sexuality-related circumstances. Culture Different cultures vary regarding norms, including how they understand and perceive sexuality, how they influence the artistic expression of sexual beauty, how they understand the relationship between gender and sexuality, and how they interpret or judge sexual behaviors such as premarital sex, the age of sexual consent, homosexuality, and others. Societies that value marriage, for example, are likely to oppose or resist adultery or unpeopleness. Individuals are socialized to those morals and values, starting at a very young age, by their family, education system, peers, media, and religion. Historically, religion has been the greatest influence on sexual behavior. Most world religions have developed moral codes that have sought to guide people's sexual activities and practices. The attitudes and mindset of an individual, whether or not sex before marriage, the use of birth control, polyamorous relationships, gay marriage, and others are deemed are open on a matter of our religious beliefs. Mass media, in the form of television, magazines, movies, and music, continues to shape what is deemed appropriate or normal sexuality, targeting everything from body image to products meant to enhance sex appeal. Media serves to perpetuate several social scripts about sexual relationships, and the sexual roles of men and women, many of which have been shown to have both empowering and problematic effects the people's developing sexual identities and sexual attitudes, especially in women. A decision is a choice you make or act upon. A good decision is a decision in which you have carefully considered the outcome of each choices. To accept personal responsibilities is to accept how your decisions may affect you and other people. Decision-making skills will help you make decisions based on your needs and desires. At the same time, it will help you to resist peer pressure. Decision-making must be practiced and exercised in resolving issues and concerns about sexuality. At the end, you must understand that gender and human sexuality with a lesson in decision-making. We have six steps of decision-making. Determine the problem. Explore the alternatives. Consider the consequences. Identify your values. Then decide and evaluate your decisions. Your decisions related to your sexual behaviors affect yourself and others now or later in your life. These sexual behaviors may be towards yourself, your family, your friends, and other people. Thus, what you choose to do and how you behave should be guided by family, social, spiritual standards, and should be based on decision-making steps or procedures.